Hello friends, welcome to part 3 of stall design, exhibition stall design. In previous tutorial part 2 uh, and part 1 we have started with the plane, we have taken box and we have designed all those things in part 1 and part 2. If you have missed part 1 or part 2, please go to that tutorial. You will understand uh, the whole thing what we what I have done. Uh, now uh, I have assigned the material onto it. Now I'll assign, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do lighting, I'll, I'll add a camera, uh, say like this I can add a camera, press ctrl C, I've added the camera. Now I'll add the lights. I'll go to V-Ray. I'll take a V-Ray light. I'll go to top view. I'll take a whole plane like this. Just come down with the intensity. Say invisible that light will not seen in camera. I'll just hit just one render. Fine. This is what we are expecting the output. Now the these things are not lit properly so we'll add one more light from this side and this side to lit those things i'll press escape no need to render the whole scene and one more thing in v-ray we have to give a textures properly go to material now i have one more material left or i can add from here I'll say tiles. I'll take V-Ray. Add some, I'll take tiles. I'll assign those tiles over there. Go to modify, say material 3. Now I'll uh, see the texture. I don't want such a big uh, lines. Advanced control. Point two will find, and this will find. I'll take cream, white cream, and this will be a total white. Add some reflectivity. Duplicate this light. I forgot to unpause the tutorial. I'll make again. I'll have duplicate this light. Again, one more light like this. I'll just see 
just check the render fine this is the output generally I'll take a whole plane Just fill it slightly so that's spline, say outline, just say extrude. I don't want this one only plane. Select this one. Slightly I'll move. I'll give it a material. Slightly bluish. Uh, reflectivity. Now I'll select top light. this one this is what we want I'll just take one more close up camera or I can adjust over here I'll fit some lights on the top, it will look nice. What I'll do is I'll take one cylinder. make a copy and I'll see it okay because in camera view the VVs now I'll go to material I'll take V-ray material V-ray light material sorry I'll take V-ray light material light material and I'll assign those lights with V-ray light I'll take one more tube align with this don't want height segments I'll 
go to material I'll take V-Ray and I'll give full white to reflectivity steel material make copy like this again I'll align with this tool say ok slide over here align with this tool say ok again align with this tool I'll say ok <clears throat> now the scene will be like this I want this light should be should flow should be like this on here so I'll just check it out the light intensity fine I'll take go to photometric I'll say target light now I want this light like this I'll say shadow on V-ray shadow and resulting in density 2 I'll go to take uh, photometric web I'll take choose photometric light I'll take photometric light Now I'll select light like this and just drag it as a light is falling on the surface. Select light. Move this copy. I'll take instance rather than going for copy. My one more I want for yeah. Over here and over here. This is what the desired effect we were expecting. Now just see the what the final effects are coming. What I'll do is I'll make one larger render. I'll pause the tutorial. I'll do the larger one tutorial, larger one uh, render. Then I'll go to Photoshop. Before going to Photoshop, I'll just unpause unpause the tutorial. Then we will come to know how we will add some effects on this I'll just press escape just wasting time to see the how it does I pause the tutorial now now we have rendered the image um, in next part uh, I'll be going to uh, uh, edit in Photoshop so in part 4 um, I'll make some light effects in Photoshop and give some uh, cutouts uh, like people cutouts of people walking and people receptionist is over here uh, someone is sitting like effect we can do in Photoshop so for 
uh, in next step in next tutorial we'll see how we'll do in photoshop in this tutorial part 3 we are ending over here